your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. This is how I make Kirk along with Bobby Price. And, you know, this is always a big game. You know, every year these two teams go out of the couple of times, at least two times, they play each other in the regular season. And uh, most of the time they wind up playing each other in the playoffs or sometime during the holiday classic. And I just want to recap from last year how the two games, uh, two regular season games these teams played ended up. Uh, first time, it was kind of, Dothan kind of had the lead uh, advantage in that game. They won 78 to 61. But the second game, it was totally different. Dothan and I won in overtime 50 to 48. That was an incredible finish of any game. Dothan and Northview, Kim James. Northview trailing by three points. Ken James hits a big three-pointer with 6.6 uh, .6 seconds left in the game. And then Julius Harper comes out in overtime, shoots and misses, and Frazier's down for the rebound and puts it up with no time left to give those to the victory. So Northview's going to be out for revenge tonight. And I'm expecting a really good game tonight, Bobby. Yeah, absolutely, man. I expect it to be a barn burner as uh, Dothan uh, took uh, all meetings last year. Uh, Northview's going to be trying to even the score. However, Dothan has been, been playing tough all season long in this early year for this 2004-2005 uh, season. So we'll see what this uh, Crosstown rivalry matchup does here tonight. I tell you, Bobby, Dothan is coming in here uh, undefeated. They are 2-0. and oh, And the big advantage Dothan has this year is experience. Dothan's coming back with four of their five starters from last year. You have uh, number 33, Carlos Frazier, 31 Hughes, 44 Fred Foster, and you also have number 10, Julius Harper. So you got four or five starters back, so you can look for some exciting things out of these Tigers. Now, Northview's got, man, I talked to Coach Griffin earlier uh, in the season. He was saying that his team is kind of young and inexperienced, but the guys go out there and they play hard every night. Frazier gets a rebound for Dothan. Uh, no score here as uh, both teams have been able to, be able to convert with uh, each having a possession. Dothan on the second one. Dothan's second possession of the game. Pull up for a three. Number 14 for the Tigers of Dothan High. Oscar Humphrey. Humphrey, and he nails it. Dothan Dothan trying to move it around. Dothan High gets on the scoreboard first. Looks like they're trying to work inside, and it's just not happening. Three-pointer. No good, but a strong rebound by Northview. That's number 30 for Northview. Tyler, Tyler Blight. Blight. And we get our first whistle. It's going to go against uh, 33 Frazier, I believe. We were yep. talking about the game last year, Bobby. Uh, Carlos Frazier, who hit the winning basket at 18 points. And Harper, he's back tonight, had 13. And Foster had 10. Now on the other side for Northview, and, and both of these uh, players have graduated. Now uh, Kenton James had 24 points, including that three-pointer at the buzzer to tie the score, and uh, Carroll had six points. So like I said, it's a pretty new squad for Northview. But Boston I, misses the first one, that sinks the second one, so it's three to one with Dothan on top. I expect an exciting game. That time, number 12 for Northview, Dawson gets the rebound. Number 12, uh, Dawson is called for traveling. Another turnover by Northview here in the early going. Score is 3-1. to one. Dothan leading Northview. 6-08 left in the first period. Opening minutes of the game. Fred Foster tries to get it in to Carlos Frazier. And the fight for the rebound, and number 12, Dawson comes down with it. So Dawson's picked up a couple of big rebounds here early in the game. 
Northview trying to work it around, go inside this time, and did so, but came right back out with it. Now we have a whistle. Lane violation. Bobby, I tell you what, we, we have a full house here tonight. <laughs> Yes, we and, do. And, and that's great. It's great to see the fans come out and, and support their respective schools. It, it makes the players feel really good, and, and, and it's good for the city. Julius Harper drains another three, so uh, that gives it a 6-1 to one lead for Nova. That time they called charging on Northview. Number 10, Justin Johnson is charged with that foul. So both the Dothan Baskets have come on three-pointers. Right, right, right. Uh, Julius Harper and Oscar Humphrey. Humphrey and Harper both with the three. Dothan seem to be going for three-pointers tonight. Uh-oh, we're going to have another reaching-in foul on Frazier. That'll be his second that's one. That's his second foul, and that's what Dothan can't afford to do, is let Frazier get an early uh, foul trouble. Northview's doing a good job of blocking out under the basket and getting some key rebounds and not allowing Dothan uh, second and third shots under the basket. Northview back on the attack here, 441 to go. It's 6-1 to one early in the first period. Northview misses a three, rebounded by Dothan Howell, fast break from Harper. That's something you'll see Harper do. He's a small guy, but he's in the right place at the right time, and he picks up a lot of rebounds and loose balls. Uh, heads up uh, defense from Anthony Spann, knocked it away. Uh, Fraser comes to the bench, and uh, Lorenzo Thomas comes in for him, number 30. to Fred Foster, he drives the baseline, lays up a reverse layup, and it's good for two points. Eight to one, 412 to go on the first. Northview answers with the three from number 10, Justin Johnson. Justin Johnson drains a three, it's, uh, it's four, eight to four now in favor of Dothan. So Bobby, we've seen three three-pointers in this game already. Two coming from Dothan High and uh, one coming from Johnson of Northview. Knocked away by Northview, so Dothan maintains possession. 3.51 left in the first period. Dothan on top, 8-4. To Ball goes to Julius Hopper. He tries to get it in low to uh, John Hughes, and it goes out of bounds. And back to Northview. Black takes it out into Anthony Spann. Going back to Black. Pull up for another three. Missed. And we got a foul called on Fred Foster over the back. That's the third team foul on Dothan. And uh, Northview has not committed one yet. That's what I was saying. Northview is doing an excellent job of positioning under the basket for rebounds. Three. So Tyler Black drains the three. That's Black, and that makes the score eight to seven. Dothan on top. And it evens up the three pointers. This team has two oh, three pointers. By Span. And he double dribbles. He turned it over. That time, Spans throw the ball for Julius Harper, and he drove toward the basket, and he stopped, and he just could not control the ball, and they called it for double dribbling. Under three minutes in the first period. It's a one-point lead for Dothan. Hughes goes in the lane, goes up and shoots, and uh, he's fouled. Anthony Spann is hit with that foul. Scores 8-7. Uh, Dothan leading Northview by one. 2.47 left in the first period. John Hughes at the free throw line. It's there. He makes
strikes them both. Back to a three-point lead for Dothan. 10-7, Dothan on top. Northview with the ball. Another three-point shot. Tyler Black with the second consecutive three-pointer. Well, it seems like this is a three-point shootout tonight. Yeah, and it's tied. to drive the baseline. Puts it up. No good. Rebound goes to Micah Evans. Northview can take the first lead, their first lead of the night, if they convert on this basket. Number Black 30. Another three. Woo! I tell you what, Bobby, this guy has taken over where Kenton James left off last year. You know, Ken James was the big three-point shooter last year, but Tyler Bright has come out of the gates tonight, and he is pretty right. Uh, Northview comes out uh, kind of slow and sluggish, uh, turning the ball over a couple of times, fall behind by a score of, uh, what, 6-1, uh, to one, and now they take a three-point lead, 13-10, to 10, with just under two minutes to go in the first period. Uh, Tyler Black has nine points, Justin Johnson has three, Corey Dawson has uh, one for Northview, uh, it's Oscar Humphrey for Dothan with three, Julius Harper with three for Dothan, John Hughes has a pair of free throws, and Fred Foster has two for Dothan. Well, uh, like I was saying, you know, we could call this a, a three-point shootout tonight because how many three-points have been shot in this, made in this game? Six. Six three-pointers, and three of them have been made by one player by the name of Tyler Black. That is right. All right, we're set to resume here. Full court press from Northview. Fred Foster, they kick it back up. Harper goes for a three, and he nailed it. That's his second three. So Harper hits his second three-pointer. I tell you, this, this is some kind of game, and this is what you expect when these two teams get together. Great block from Harper, but uh, Dorothy finally gets the basket from number 40, uh, Michael Abbott. Abbott, he stuck with it, went out strong, the ball was possibly blocked, and he put it in to put Northview back on top, 15 to 13, 109 left in the first period. Dothan working the ball around. A three-point shot, misses, rebounded by Abbott for Northview. Northview is doing a much better job of rebounding than Dothan High School. Another three, it's there! Justin Johnson hits his second three. Wow. Bob, I believe this, these are the most three points I've ever seen shot in a quarter. Number 30 puts it in for two. Thomas for Dothan. It's 18-17. Uh, Under 20 seconds now. Bobby. It's a score on the they scoreboard. Never, they never gave, they uh, never gave Dothan those. Right. Fred Foster, Foster shoots a three. It's an air ball. Put back up just before the buzzer by number 14, Oscar Humphrey. And the score on the scoreboard is 20 to 17. And uh, we'll get him to check that uh, during the break. So after one smoking quarter play, the score is Northview 20, Dothan 17. We'll be back with the, the second period after this timeout. start the second period and Bobby if it's anything like the first one boy we're in for a shootout tonight <laughs> absolutely uh, 2017 and I'll tell you if, if you want to say what's been key this half first quarter was uh, 
the three-pointers. But Northview is doing an excellent job of uh, rebounding. Xavier Gibson puts it in for two for Northview, 22-17. It's a five-point lead for Cougars. Boy, you know, Coach Griffin was telling me that his players uh, didn't have much experience, but they're not playing like it tonight. Call. Foster wanted a traveling call on number 30. Lorenzo Thomas. That's his first. I tell you, uh, uh, Carlos Fraser picked up two quick fouls, so he's on the bench, so he's ineffective right now. That's Coach Golders going to sit him out. That's a fourth team foul. So, and he's that really big go to guy, and uh, he's on the bench. He missed both of them. Foster rebounds out to Julius Harper. Harper has a couple of threes tonight. I tell you, I have been impressed with the play of these Northview Cougars. I know what Dolphin's capable of doing, but uh, I didn't know what Northview was capable of doing. Good rebound by number 30 for Dolphin Lorenzo Thomas. He puts it up and in. And it's a 22-19 game. Thomas has four top. points. Thomas has four points on the night now. Bobby, we don't have the, the height of the players, but uh, Northview has some height out there. And Dothan came up with a better end of the rebound territory that time. Foster goes up. Lays it up, and uh, he's fouling. He's going to be going to the line. Boy, I tell you what, this, this game has kept us on the edge of our seats. That's uh, Justin Johnson's second foul, Fred Foster's first trip to the line. Both of them down by three. Bobby, these two teams will be meeting up again in the first round of the Holiday Classic coming up at the uh, Dothan Civic Center what, starting that, the 27th of December. Was that the Monday after Christmas? Yes, yeah. the Monday after Christmas. So if this is any indication of what we can expect, i tell you what, they're, they're going to burn that place down. Absolutely. Foster still has another shot coming. Trey Critton is in the game now for uh, Dothan High, number 15. Foster's second shot is good. Twenty-two nineteen, Northview on top of Dothan. Opening minutes of the second quarter. And a reach again foul on uh, John Hughes. So Northview will be taken ball out. That's a fifth team foul for Dothan. Tyler Black with the ball and I tell you what they should call him Tyler Red because he's been red hot tonight. Nice move to the basket by Anthony Spann. Uh, Stan with it and he got a roll and it dropped in good for Northview. 24-20. Fred Foster takes it and dishes it off to number 30, Lorenzo, Lorenzo Thomas, and it's good. That's his sixth point. A uh, great feed there by, uh, by Foster. Great Fred Black Foster. from number 44, Fred Foster. He was outsized in height, but he was up for the challenge. <laughs> and uh, number 15, Trey Gritton, is fouled. He'll shoot three. Bobby, you couldn't ask for a better game to start the season off between these two teams. Not at all. You know, there are fans everywhere. I guess we probably have a couple of thousand people here tonight. Probably so. If, if, if everybody was in a seat, we'd have a full house. All right, Trey's first uh, free throw is good. 
It's a one-point lead for Northview. He's shooting three. Misses, and I think we're going to have a, a, a lane violation, so he's going to get a... No, they just, just, they, just let a sub come in is all. Well, he missed that one. Yeah, he missed it. Yeah, so evidently it was a lane violation then a sub. All right. It's up and good. So the score is tied. 24-24. 5-14. Xavier Gibson puts in two more for Northview. Back to a two-point lead, 26-24. Don't blink your eyes, you'll miss something. <laughs> I know. That's the pace of this game. Well, you know, we was talking about the junior varsity game. 148 points were scored in that one. So, the way they're going now, they're, they're, they'll rival that. That time they tried to get the ball inside, and they lost it to Dothan High. Shot goes into number 31, Hughes, and he wasn't able to do anything, but Albert Betts puts it in for two. That's his first point of the night. Boy, and a steal by Tyler Clark. He misses, but that's a foul call. Larky playing very aggressive on defense, Bobby. Trey Critton's going to be charged for that foul. Two shots coming up for uh, number 30, Tyler Black, who has nine points on the night, three three-pointers. I tell you, I think uh, Coach Golden's probably going to keep Frazier on the bench to the second half. Probably so, you, yeah. You don't want him to, to, to get back into the game and, and pick up a cheap third foul. So it makes them both. It's a six-point lead for Northview. 30 to 24. Northview leading Dothan High School. Ball in the front box. He goes up for the slam, and he's fouled. Two-shot foul coming up here for so that, that, Red Foster. That brings the crowd to the feet, even though he missed the shot. I missed who, I, I was paying attention. I, I missed who the foul was on. I, I, I didn't catch it, Robbie. Was he on uh, 40 or 50? 40 or 50. Yeah. Foster misses. He's one for three from the line. So Foster makes the second one. 30 to 25, Northview leading Dothan. 350 left in the first half. Four. Nice fast break. That was uh, Gibson on the fast break. Six points for Gibson. Northview on the fast break, got the rebound. They pull up. They're leading by seven, 32-25. And he gets the roll. Who was at the shutback? I, I missed that, Bob. I think it was number, number five, I believe. That'll be a three-pointer for him. It was four or five. And an offensive foul called on Tyler Black, number 30. No, not on Black, uh, 30 for Dothan High. Was, oh, I'm uh, sorry, I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, Lorenzo Thomas. Thomas. i tell you what. Northview has Dothan High a little rattled right now. They've gone to a 10-point lead, and uh, Dothan's gotten to look frustrated. Northview has come out, and Black goes for a three, missed rebound, goes to Fred Foster. And he gets it over to Julius Harper. That was a good move by Dothan. The rebound put back 
by number 31, John Hughes. Hughes. Four points for Hughes now. 35-27, Northview leading Dothan. This is perhaps the biggest crowd I've seen at this gym, Bobby, in a long time. Long, long time. Great rebound from Dothan and John Hughes. Fast break to Foster. Goes out of bounds off the, the leg of a Northview player. Dothan gets to keep it. Like you said, if you bat your eye, you miss something. Dothan gets the ball into Foster, and it's not the way. And Northview is on the fast break. And they call it offensive foul. Foul called on number four for Northview. Bats. Bats. That's his first. 142 left, first half. Northview on top by eight. 35-27. And another Harper turnover. loses it. And Bats has it. The call was calling for a travel there. They didn't get it the first time, time, but they got it that time. Woo! Man, oh man, what a game. But I'll tell you what, I'm impressed with these teams, Bobby. I'll tell you what, Duff is going to have... Two good high school basketball teams this year, Northview and Dothan High School. That's pretty obvious. This one's been nip and tuck all the way. Harper for three, no good. Rebound, Northview. They get it in low, and it goes out of bounds off of Northview. Just over a minute left. 35-27. Northview, leading Dothan High School. Three-point attempt. Misses, short. But it's saved by North Dothan High. Beautiful. And it goes to Fred Foster, and he slams it down. 40 seconds left in the half. That always brings the crowd to their feet. 35-29, Northview. Black tries to answer with the three. No good. Foster gets the rebound. Gets out to Harper. Harper fakes. Reverse left. No good. But rebound. And Fred Foster gets it. Goes up. And he's, he's fouled. Boy, we seen a lot of action in this one. Number 10, Justin Johnson hit with that foul. That's his third, Mitt. So that Foster. could be a problem late in the game for the Cougars of Northview. Foster's two for four from the line. Like he's making every other one. That's uh, six points on the line for Foster. Just under 20 seconds to go in the half. Call. No, we have a substitute coming again. Oh, okay. Num number 21 is in for Dothan High. That's uh, Bud, Bud Duncan. Duncan. Bud Duncan, yeah. Northview up by five. They were up by as many as ten points. Now you're going to get a full turnover. Dothan can, can cut the lead. If they can convert here. They get it at uh, midcourt, so... Just over 10 seconds. Dothan High gets the ball and they'll go for one shot. Goes to Julius Harper. They get it up, no good. Black goes from behind half court. And the way he's been shooting tonight, I'm surprised that one didn't go in. I agree. So, it's halftime of this action field contest between the Dothan Tigers and Northview Cougars. And the score is Northview 35, Dothan High School 
30. We'll be back with the second half after these messages. Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Seven fouls for Dothan High School. Uh, Dothan trailing by five points. And we're underway in the third period. Well, the key in the first half was just three pointers. There were uh, uh, a number of three pointers by uh, both teams, and mainly nine, nine three pointers in the first half. And the three point, I tell you what, Tyler Black, number 30 for Northview, he hit three in a row. Turnover by Northview. Dothan gets it. Foster got it to Frazier, and he couldn't get it to connect, and it's back to Northview, and key things in the first half for uh, Carlos Frazier, number 33 for Dothan, was in early foul trouble. He picked up a couple of quick fouls in the first quarter, and then play at all the second quarter. And another key is what you just saw. Northview's done an excellent job of blocking out under the basket and uh, rebounding. Hopkins for two points. That's his first points of the night for the Cougars. It's a seven point lead. Harper for three, no good. Rebound goes to Tyler Black of the Cougars. Black for another three. That's Black's fourth three pointer of the game, and he puts Northview back on top by 10. What a shot there. Uh, the first three point of the second half, but uh, Northview now has seven in the game. And that's about the difference too, Mitt. Seven points difference from the, from the, you know, the baskets and... Fred Foster drives the baseline, puts it up, and he's fouled, and... Uh, Foster's taking it to him. He's missed a couple of those, but uh, he's gone to the foul line a couple of times, and he's shooting about 50% from the foul line right now. All right, Corey Dawson is charged with that foul. Foster misses his first. As Thomas comes in, and Hughes comes out. Uh, Matthew Palmer comes out, and Abbott goes back in for Northview. So Foster misses both that time. Abbott gets the rebound, goes to Bats. Nothing to span, excuse me. Dawson back to span. Blind from the corner for another three. He missed that one, but rebound by Northview. And Northview, I, I keep emphasizing, I think the difference in this game is that Northview has been hitting the boys. They've, they've gotten a lot more rebounds in Dothan High School. Uh, I think you're right, Mitt. Uh, Fred Foster picks up his second foul. And Michael Abbott comes to the line for the first time tonight. So uh, Abbott gives Northview that biggest lead of the game, 11 points, with 5.40 left in the third period. So it's a 12-point lead. He makes both of them. That's four points for Abbott. Dothan is going to have to make a run before uh, they let this one get away from them. And 
and they turn it over. Goes back to Northview. Span brings it up. He drives it to the basket, missed. And Abbott gets the rebound, puts it back up, and it's good. Six points now for So Abbott. it's a 44-30 to 30 lead. I can't, doing I can't it. believe Coach Golden is taking this so calmly, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Northview's doing an excellent job of rebounding, Bobby, and that is the key. That is the difference in this game. Right now, they're up by 14, 44, 30, 453 left in the third period. Another turnover by Dothan, and they can't ill afford very many turnovers. Northview, uh, they need to put points. Northview has come out this second half and scored nine points to Dothan zero. Good hands that time by number 10, Julius Harper. Knocking it out of bounds. Because number 42, Hopkins, would have been wide open under the basket. Uh, Critton comes in and Humphrey goes out for Dothan. Uh, Dawson uh, comes out for Northview. Blight goes for another three. Misses, and Dothan gets a rebound. It's number 30, Lorenzo Thomas with the rebound for the Tigers. Fred Foster from behind the three-point line, and he nails it. Fred Foster, 4-3. That's his first three-pointer, and that gives him uh, seven, ten points on the night. And it's Dothan's first score of the second half, and it's 4-0-3 uh, left. Yeah, almost half the, the period's gone, and uh, Dothan gets their first points. And Foster comes up with it, and he goes and lays it up, and it's possibly blocked by Abbott. That time on, on uh, Span for Northview. I tell you, number 33, Carlos uh, Frazier, has been ineffective so far tonight, uh, mainly because he got in foul trouble early. And uh, he just hasn't been able to get into the swing of things, but he's going to have to uh, get into the swing of things for Dothan High to have a chance at winning this game because uh, otherwise it's, it's going to be a, a really tough struggle for him. Foul on Northview, uh, uh, 42, Thomas Hopkins picks up his first. Foster to Frazier for the slam. We're just talking about how Frazier's going to have to get in into it, and that's a big play for the Tigers. That's his first point of the night, Nick. Right, right. Because he set out all the second period. He, yeah, he, he was out most of the uh, first half and all, uh, uh, all of the second quarter. So it's 3-11 left in the third period before Frazier makes his first basket, and he made it with the statement. <laughs> yeah, he did. A, a nice slam. You know, the Dothan uh, crowd had got quiet over there for a while, and now they're up on their feet making a little noise. Uh, kind of recap scoring quickly. Julius Harper with six, Humphrey with uh, five, uh, Critton with two, Thomas with six, Hughes with four, Frazier with three, uh, Foster has seven, ten points for Dothan in this contest thus far. For Northview, it's uh, Bats with five, Anthony Spann two, Johnson has uh, six, Dawson one, Tyler Black has 14, Abbott has six, Hopkins with uh, two, Gibson with six, and Palmer with two to round out the scoring unofficially for Northview. 44-35, 3-11 left in the third period. Northview on top of Dothan High. When the action resumes, it'll be Northview's ball. Hopkins takes it out into Tyler Black. Get it into Abbott. He drives, he pulls up his short, but rebound goes to, uh, that was number 50. Gibson. Gibson, eight points. With the basket. I tell you, Northview's got some height, Bobby. Yes, they have. They may be young, but they have some height and they're strong. 
Harper tripped up. And on the fast break, and we're going to have a foul called on uh, number 30, Thomas. At the line comes uh, Anthony Spann, who has two points on the line. Northview crowd is starting to come alive behind us here. 11 point lead. Northview over Dothan High School. Span to shoot two. Makes it. Uh, Justin Johnson comes in. Hopkins comes out for Northview. And makes them both. So it's a 13 point lead. Dothan has just not been able to sustain any momentum in this game. And Northview has done an excellent job of controlling this game. The tempo of it, Black for three. No good, rebound goes to Frazier. Off to Harper. Harper drives, goes up or whatever, and puts it in. Julius Harper. Eight points for Julius. They try to get it in Abbott, and uh, it's saved by the Tigers. Harper brings it down, pulls up for a three. Misses. Rebound goes to Foster. He saves it to Harper. Back to Foster from three. And here's the second three-pointer. Fred Foster with the another three-pointer. 13 points on the line for Foster. Two three-pointers. I tell you, we've seen the threes tonight. Ball goes to Abbott. He's been triple team, but he hits his open man. And it's blocked by Harper. Great block by Julius Harper. You know, to knock that away. Harper's a small guy, Bobby, but we saw him block a lot of shots last year. Those are the cut the lead to eight points. They were trailing by 13. Northview with the ball. Abbott comes out. Palmer comes in for Northview. And he throws it away right into Harper's hand. Down to Carlos Frazier, and he can't control it. Loses it out of bounds. Goes back to Northview. North missed an excellent opportunity to cut that lead that time. Frazier couldn't hold on to it. Tyler Bright passes it over in the corner from behind the three-point line. No good. Frazier rebounds. Over to Harper. Good rebound from Frazier to pick it up for, North, for Dothan High School. And we're going to get a reaching in foul by number 30. Tyler Black. Fifty seconds left in the third period. Critton with the ball. He pulls up and uh, it was blocked, but he got him with the body. And uh, it's going to be a foul call on uh, Gibson. That'll be his second. So uh, Critton comes to the line. He's two for three. Curtin gets the roll, so it's a 48-41 game. He misses the second one. Rebound goes to Northview. Bats brings it down court. They travel. Gibson charged for traveling on that call, takes the basket away. Seven point lead for Northview, it's 48-41. Fred Foster fakes like he was going to try to get in, but he gets it in to number 30 Hughes, but Foster puts it back up, and it's good. So Fred Foster's making an impact here in the second half. 15 points for Foster. 
No offense going for one shot. It's in the hand of Tyler Black. He goes for a three. Oh! And it rims out. So, those are not did a good job of cutting the lead. They were by, behind by as many as 13 points in the quarter, and they cut the lead down to five. So, at the end of three periods of play, the score of Northview 48, Dothan 43. Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. We're back at the beginning of the fourth period. And I tell you what, the first three periods have been just incredible. Dothan High School hosting the Northview Cougars, trailing by a score of 48-43. Northview with the ball. Right, uh, Northview trying to get uh, a shot off from uh, number 30. Uh, Tyler Black, and he misses. And then uh, Dothan finally comes up with a rebound. That's Frazier. So Dothan back on the attack, trailing by five. In order for Dothan to come back in this game, they've got to do a good job of rebounding. Get the ball into Frazier. He misses. Rebound and a jump ball. And it goes to Northview. Fred Foster tied him up to uh, get the jump, so possession error in favor of Dothan. Thomas takes it out, inbounds it to Critton. He pulls up for a short jumper. No good. Rebound goes to Gibson. No, uh, 42. That's uh, Hopkins. Hopkins. Still a five-point deficit for the Tigers. Northfield on offense with uh, 7.06 left in the game. Black goes in, he just ditches it off, and a block by Carlos Frazier. Great block by Frazier on that one. That looked like a sure two-pointer, but Frazier said no sir. Northfield comes right back and puts it in. That's number 10, Justin Johnson. Eight points for Justin. Cougars back on top by seven. Ball over to Harper. Foster drives. Ditches it back out. Four three, no good. Rebound goes to Abbott. 6.20 to go in the game. Northview with the ball. Bats. And he turns it over. Big turnover, big turnover. Seven-point lead for Northview. Dothan now on offense. Both of these teams have played very well tonight, and I can't say enough about this Cougar team. They're a young team and uh, don't have nearly as much experience, but they've come out and they played tonight. You got to give uh, a lot of credit to the coaching staff for that, Bobby. They came in prepared. That's right. Uh, Trey Critton uh, is, is fouled. Number 42, Hopkins, charged with that one. So Critton is um, three for five. So on the other hand, Delta and I's come out. They have a lot more experience than... Uh, you know, it could come down to experience in the game. You, you don't know, but right now it's uh, you it's, it's anybody's game. It's, it's anybody's game. It sure is. Frazier with the rebound and it's blocked. Abbott picks up the loose ball. Tyler Black with it for Northview. Great defensive play by number 33, Carlos Frazier. Good defense and get back on defense by the uh, Cougars of Northview. Hopkins made a great defensive effort that time, knocking the ball out of bounds and preventing an uh, easy basket. Critton gets it in to number 30, Thomas. Thomas for the basket. Eight points for Lorenzo. It's a four-point game, 50-46. 5.25, clocks are ticking. We have a timeout call on the floor. 
522 left in the fourth period. It's a four-point game. Northview leading Dothan 50 to 46. They were up by as much as 13 in the third period, and Dothan managed to cut that lead down to five going into the uh, the fourth period. Uh, maybe maybe the doctors told. Uh, <laughs> What's that? Coach Golden to, uh, to kind of chill a little bit. He's been pretty cool, calm, and collecting tonight. He's he, only been off, off his seat two or three times. Uh, he, he's been calm tonight. He, he really has. and It's hard to be calm in a game like this, Bobby. That is true. You that know, you, true. you'd think we were on the sidelines. <laughs> <laughs> the, the way we've been acting tonight, you know, it's... We're up here sweating, and, you know, it, 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 it's probably 40-something degrees outside. I know it. I put this long sleeve shirt on because it was cool, and uh, it's warm in here. It's probably 80 degrees or 85 in here. Yeah. We talked about how the game ended last year. The last time these two teams met, both and I won 50 to 48 in overtime, and it was a shot at the buzzer that won the game. So it looked like this was going to go to the buzzer, too. He traveled, number 40, Abbott, charged for traveling. Costly turnover there from Northview. So Northview's committed a couple of big turnovers here, and they're giving Dothan High an opportunity to uh, cut this lead. And a block. Nice block shot from Northview. Hopper for a three. Misses, it goes to Tyler Black. Northview doing a good job. Black goes up and he misses. Rebound goes to Thomas. And we got a foul called on Tyler Black. That's right. Uh, Tyler Black hit with his second uh, foul. Crin takes it up for Dothan. Back to take the inbound pass is uh, Jews Harper. Four and a half minutes to go. Fred Foster, he tried to get it in, but Thomas picks up the loose ball and it's blocked. Number 42, uh, Hopkins is gonna be hit with that foul. I tell you, Northview has some height under that basket, Bobby. Yes, I do. I mean, they have some height and some long arms, and they are really challenging the Dothan players when they drive to the basket. Uh, Clinton's been to the line uh, six times. He's made four of the six. Dothan trailing by four. 421 left, four period. Make it three. Two point lead, 50, 48, 420. Two clutch free throws there from uh, number 15, Trey Critton. So Dothan has come back from a double digit lead to cut it down to a two point lead. Carlos Frazier rebounds out to Julius Harper. To Critton. They get it in to Frazier, and it was blocked. Critton goes for the shot, no good. Frazier rebounds, saves it to Fred Foster. And Northview is, whew, it's tough under that basket. It is tough it, under that basket. Oh, it's hard to go to the basket. I'm glad I'm not out there. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Spann charged with a foul. Foster comes to the line. I, I tell you, he's uh, three for eight. Yeah, Foster had not been very effective from the line. These are his two biggest foul shots of the night here. And he makes his first one, one point game. Put back by number 33, Frazier, to 
kept open the lead. Turnover no few. Carlos Brazier with a big tip in to put Duncan on top since early in the second quarter. Uh, Gibson comes in and Abbott comes out for the Cougars. 327 left for a period. Dothan on top of Northview, 51 to 50. And Northview wants to talk it over. Wow. At the end of uh, three quarters, Bobby, the score was 48-43. Uh, so Dothan scored uh, nine points and Northview five. So it's a nine to five run by uh, Dothan High over Northview. And we keep talking about how their last meeting ended up an overtime victory at the buzzer. 50 to 48, Dothan over Northview. Carlos Frazier tipped one in at the buzzer. But it's been an eight-point run for, for Dothan High. Right, yeah. Northview's only scored two points here in the fourth. Well, it was a uh, 48. It was 48. It was 48, 48. It was 48 yeah, two points. points right, yeah. you, you're correct. N nine to two. Nine to two. Nine to two run. But what I was saying, last year they went into overtime on a big three-pointer with six seconds left by Julius Harper. And shots no good. They tried to put that one back in and grab the rims, and uh, they called, uh, I guess so that's the top of the rim. Okay, so ball goes to Northview. They're trailing by one. Tyler Black comes down. Black has hit four three-pointers tonight. Is that correct, Bobby? Four threes? Uh, yeah. And that time, Northview tried to get it in low, and, uh, it was picked off by Carlos Frazier. Creighton with the ball back over to Julius Harper. Under three minutes left in the game. One point game. Delta leading by one. Foster gets it in to Frazier. He breaks it off the glass and it's good. So it's 53 50. Seven points for Frazier. And they've all come here in the second half. Well, you know, earlier I mentioned, Bobby, that for Dothan out to win this game, Frazier was going to have to have a big second half. They played some great defense here in this uh, fourth period, and as well as the third, uh, especially the fourth coming back. Black three point three. shot from uh, number 30, Tyler Black. Tied the score. That's five three quarters for him in this game tonight. Tyler Black plays another three. With just over two minutes left. Harper for a three, no good. Rebound, Northview. Tie game, under two minutes. Northview goes up by two. That's Gibson ten points puts it in. Ten points. One and a half minutes left. This one will go to the buzzer, you can bet that. Fred Foster gets it back out to Harper. To Critton. Critton drives to the basket. He gets it Fred Foster and he's fouled. 42 Thomas Hopkins hit with that foul. Foster comes to the line again with a minute 19. Down by two. This is everything we expected. <laughs> everything. Everything That's we a fourth foul on Hopkins. Foster cuts the score to one. Cuts the lead to one. 54-55. Northview on top. He can tie the score. And he does. So it's a tie game with 118 left. Northview, Tyler Black shot another three. Misses. He misses. And the ball rolls out of bounds, and it goes to Dothan. 105 left in the game.
tied up. 55, 55. The can't pass games ain't better than this. <laughs> I'll tell you, the ball goes to Fred Foster. Foster pulls it back out, gets it to Harper, to Critton. And get it in to Carlos Frazier. He falls back, and he puts it in. Fade away top it by Carlos Frazier. The gift though for the two-point lead, 57, 55. Okay, number 30 has the ball. Tyler Black, over to 40. Abbott, back to Black, to Abbott again. Driving toward the basket. Block! Block Frazier! Out of bounds Block. by Fred Foster. 32.6 seconds left. Boy, you can ask for a better inner city rivalry than these two teams. Creighton knocks it out of bounds. 31. Point four seconds left in the game. Stay in the room only. Dothan up by two over Northview. Northview with the ball. What a scenario. They call a blocking foul on Thomas. Anthony Spann goes to the line. He's uh he's had uh, he's perfect for the line. Two for two. called uh, St. Coach Golden want to talk it over. Boy, I tell you, I feel like I've been running up and down this score for, for four quarters. Uh, <laughs> well, it's nipping to, well, even though the uh, the girls game was sort of a runaway for Dothan over Northview, uh, it was fast-paced and uh, a lot of action, so we've been quite busy here tonight with uh, both these games. And then even the earlier junior varsity game, there was a, 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 a clutch win, Dothan pulling away in the, in the final uh, seconds to, uh, to win that game. Yeah, so it was, it's been a perfect night for Dothan so far. Yeah, junior varsity won 75 to 73 over Northview. So Dothan's trying to make a sweep, but I tell you what, it's going to take a big pull for them to sweep this one. Because these Cougars from Northview are really out there. And they are, they're giving it all they have to give. So it's too close to call. Yep. Anthony Spann is at the line. He can tie it up. Two shots. The fans are on their feet. And he's been to the line twice tonight. He's made both of them. Puts it up. It's there. One point game. He misses a second. And the ball is loose. It goes to Harper. He gives it to Frazier. And he goes in. And he's fouled. Whoa. Still a lot of time left, Bobby. Yeah, 19, 19 seconds. 19 yeah. seconds. Yeah, Coach Golden wanted to hold the ball, and they didn't see him asking him to hold it. So Frazier goes to line. He's uh, going to shoot a couple. Well, you know, last year, Dothan was up by three with uh, 6.6 .6 seconds left, and Ken James going to three. You got Black out there. So Frazier misses. Timeout called by Dothan. 19 seconds. Dothan up 57 56. Now just a one point lead. And this, uh, this basket's going to be coming up next is a real key uh, point in this game because if they're not able to convert to take a two point lead, uh, Northview can just come down easily and make a basket and win it. Whereas if Dothan makes it, they've got to do a three to win it. Which is a little bit harder with, with less than 19, 19 seconds to go. Yeah, well, Dothan's all up by one. Right. So if yeah. they, make, they make this free throw, they'd be up by two. By two, right. So, uh, so this is real key. 
It's, it's key. It's key. Every play from now to the end of this game is a key play. Foster at the free throw line. He uh, missed Frazier. Frazier. Frazier missed the first one. The crowd on their feet. Frazier goes. And he makes it. Walker will get the ball out of bounds. No pressure him. 14 seconds. They get the ball to Abbott. Oh, and it goes through the hand of Gibson with 8.4 seconds left. Dothan gets the ball. It, it's still not over, Bobby. There's always a possibility of stealing an inbound pass. We have a foul Quick ball. foul on that by Anthony Spann. That'll be an automatic two-point shoot. Still a lot of time, 7.1 seconds. And the way Tyler Plott shoots from downtown is not over till it's over. That's true. So it's important for Dothan to make both of these baskets in order to ice possibly it. ice it. Yeah. And Harper has not been to the line yet. So uh, we'll see what happens from the free throw line for him. Shooting two. He misses the first one. Still, two-point lead. Harper makes the second, so it's a three-point game. Coach Jordan wants to call another timeout. And we, we said at the outset, this thing would come down to the final seconds, and uh, we predicted that right with uh, Dothan with a three-point lead. And this is almost exactly what it was just a year ago, less than a year ago. <laughs> You're exactly right, Bobby. You know, 6.6 6 seconds left, Northview trailing by three. And uh, they hit a three-pointer to tie the game, and it goes in overtime. And Dothan wins the buzzer in overtime. Well, we have almost the same scenario here. But no kid, no kid and James. No Ken James, but the Tyler Black. That's right. 7.16. seconds. He has had five three-pointers tonight. And uh, I know he wants to make it an even dozen. <laughs> even half dozen. Right. 7.1 seconds. It's an extended timeout for, uh, for Dothan and Northview here with uh, a three-point lead for Dothan. We'll see I, what the final seconds play I, out. I, I tell you, Bobby, regardless of who scores the most points tonight, which team scores the most points, both teams are winners because right. they have gone out on the floor tonight and just played their hearts out. Their hearts out. They have played the entire game. Okay, we have uh, 7.1 seconds left. Northview gets the ball in, and they're going to try to get in the hand of Tyler Bright. Shot. No good. Back, back at it. And the game is over. Dothan wins it. 59 to 56. And the fans rush the floor. Incredible finish, Bobby. Incredible. Incredible. These two teams, I tell you, you can't say enough for them. These players, these coaches, they came out and they had a game plan. They executed it and played, played it to the final second. And, and it's just, it, you, you can't say enough about it. Dothan High wins 59-56, but Northview put up an unbelievable effort in this game. And it could have very easily gone either way. It just came down to who made the last shot. Who made the last shot and Dothan made the last shot. So that came out on top. I talked about earlier about who would be a key player in determining whether Dothan would win the game. And it was Carlos Frazier. I said, Frazier's got to have a good second half in order for Dothan I to win this game. And Frazier came out the second half and he had an excellent second half. But on the other side, Northview played an excellent game. I was very impressed with the play of Northview. I talked to Coach Griffin earlier, uh, before the season started, he said, I have some good guys, but they're young. And 
I tell you what, they didn't play like they were young and inexperienced tonight. They came out and played an excellent game. They executed very well. They dominated on the boards, but were just not able to, to pull out a victory. That is right, and uh, quickly we'll recap the scoring for you. Uh, you. I think you called it right, Mitt, when you said uh, Fraser had to have a big night. He had no points in the first half, and he came out with 10 big ones here in the, in the second half of the game tonight. And, and, of course, they were down 12 or 13 points at one time. So for Northview, in their losing effort tonight, uh, even though they're not losers, because it was a great game with a, a three-point win for Dothan, but uh, Albert Batts had five, Anthony Spann with five, uh, Justin Johnson with eight, Corey Dawson one, Tyler Black, a big night with those five three-pointers, had 17 points on the night. Uh, Michael Abbott had six, uh, Thomas Hopkins had two, Xavier Gibson had ten, and Matthew Palmer two for Northview. Uh, on the other side with Dothan, Harper with eight points, Humphrey with four, Critton with six, Lorenzo Thomas eight, John Hughes four, Carlos Frazier ten, and the uh, high point man of the night, number 44, Fred Foster, 18 points. So, Bobby, the, the score was, uh, was, was balanced on both teams. Both teams did not depend on one player to score all the points. It was a very balanced attack by both teams. And, and like I said, you cannot ask for a better play game. And the city of Dothan has a lot to be proud of. The way these two schools came out and competed on the court, and it went down to the buzzer to determine a winner. Uh, Dothan had seven players in, uh, in the scoring column tonight. And then Northview, you look at uh, what they had, and they had nine players that put points up on the school board tonight. So uh, uh, down the road in the season, that's going to be uh, real key for Northview. Uh, these young players are going to get the experience that they need, and uh, we'll see what happens as the year progresses. But uh, Dothan High comes up the victor in round one of this contest. And what, two weeks, maybe just a little over two weeks, they're going to play again. Uh, in the first round of that uh, Dothan Progress Dothan Eagle Tournament at the Dothan Civic Center. And Bobby, I'll tell you what, I'm going to make sure I'm going to have plenty of cool things to drink because the way we sweated through this whole game, <laughs> you know, and, uh, and like they say, sweating bullets. We sweated bullets. But it, it was an excellent game. Let me recap this going by quarters. Uh, at the end of the first period, Northview led Dothan High 20 to 17 at uh, halftime. They'd increased that lead to 35 to 30. Then the third quarter, they went up as much as 42 to 30 over Dothan High. Dothan High cut the lead down to 48 to 43 at the end of three. And uh, Dothan made a move midway through the fourth quarter. They, they, they started making a move, and they were able to... Uh, to win the game 59-56. And we talked about Frazier. Frazier was scoreless until 3.33 left in the third period before he made his first basket. Right. And from that point on, he, he was a factor in the game. And, and I think the point that you made uh, throughout the game, that experience was going to be the difference in the game tonight, and definitely the experience paid off because uh, Dothan hung in there. They never lost their, their poise and composure, and they hung in there, kept team effort, and uh, they pull off with a big three-point win over their cross-town rival, Northview. And I tell you what, I'm looking forward to this basketball season because these two teams are uh, – we'll get to see them play several more times this year, you know, not against each other but against other opponents. And, and I'm expecting both of these schools, uh, both of uh, the city high schools, to, to really do well this year. It, it would be nice to uh, for both of our squads to be represented in uh, in region play when uh, when they advance uh, in the tournament. But you know we're we're a few months away from from that. The season is still early, and uh, but it's a real possibility, Bob. It is a real possibility. <laughs> Anything can happen between now and the end of February. That's that's right. All right, well that's going to about wrap it up from the gym of Dothan High School. Uh, on behalf of Bobby Price and uh, cameraman Stephen Short, the final score. Dothan 59, Northview 56. Good night from Tiger Jim. Your number one source for high school sports. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network.